Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be covering one of my favorite libraries. It's Keybert, and I'm surprised I haven't actually done a video already on this channel. I use it all the time. It's really good to teach and to demonstrate how transformer models work behind the scenes, and it also provides a really good way to teach how document embeddings kind of compare and relate to their individual tokens or words that are found within them. It's also a very quick way, an effective way, to grab all of the keywords found within a given document, leveraging modern day transformer models. Now it comes to us from the same creator of BERT Topic. Now what is Key BERT? Well, let's go ahead and dive in and find out. Now I've got for us prepared this notebook that we can kind of go through and follow along. It's linked in the description down below. So what is Key BERT? Well, Key BERT allows for you to essentially with only three lines of code, go in and automatically extract all of the different keywords found within a given document. It does this through a very creative way. What it does is it looks at the document vector as a whole. So when we convert a document into a vector, we're passing a document, so some kind of text, into a model, typically a language model. In our case, a transformer model. The transformer model then converts that text into a numerical representation. What then Keybert does is it takes all the individual words in that document, so each of the individual tokens, and vectorizes each of those. These are actually already vectorized during this process. Then it uses a metric to compare the similarity between each individual token and the document as a whole. And what this allows for us to therefore do is identify the words in a given document that most represent that document. And we have numerical metrics for actually measuring the degree to which each of the individual words do so, which means we can rank them. And if we can do both of these steps, then we can effectively extract the key words from a document. Now, a lot of this makes a presumption, at least for downstream tasks, that keywords represent maybe some latent subjects in the document. If you want to do latent detection of subjects, I recommend checking out BERT Topic. I have a whole video on it on this channel. It's a very effective way to do uh, basically topic modeling with transformer models. However, for this video, we're going to be focusing just on how to extract keywords. Now, what you're going to want to do to follow along with everything in this video is you're going to want to use pip install. So you can use pip install key BERT, and you're gonna be able to download the entire library. Now, everything that we cover in this video is gonna be about the out of the box key BERT, but a lot of the steps that we see, you can do them with um, language models from Spacey, from Jensum, and from Flare, but we're gonna be working with the out of the box default settings for the most part in this video. Now, what I have prepared for us are three different texts. There are three different sections of the story Dracula. Right now, I'm living in Romania, so this felt like a very relevant text, at least to me. And now I'm gonna zoom in so that we can kind of start to analyze them. And it doesn't matter if you've read these. In fact, the idea and the implementation of using this is that you are using it over documents that you haven't actually read or you physically can't read in a given amount of time. Once we've gone ahead and imported all these texts, we can start to work with the keyword. So we're gonna call in the keyword class, keyword. Notice the capitalization of the K here and the capitalization of the B, the E, the R, and the T. That's very important. Remember, Python is case sensitive. Once we've called in this keyword class, we can initiate and instantiate the actual class itself. Now, the Pythonic way to do this, or the standard way in which we do it, is we're going to be calling this, uh, this model model. You can also call it KW underscore model. I believe that's actually how it's done in the documentation. Either is perfectly fine. Now, out of the box, it's going to be using the all many L6V2 model from sentence transformers. You can pass in any string here and it'll be the sentence transformer model. If you're new to Python and you're new to sentence transformers, just use the standard default here. It's gonna be best for most use cases. Go to the documentation, however, to find out what model to use for multilingual texts. Now that we've loaded up our model, we can actually create the keywords or extract the keywords by using the method extract underscore keywords. And this is gonna take one argument, for at least right now. This is gonna be the text itself. So in our case, we want to just go ahead and take a look at that very first text. And it looks like I forgot to execute that cell. And once we do that, we're able to see that we have a few important key words. So this first text has words like horses, gloom, fears, snow, and fright. If we do text two, we have shave, shaving, startling, slept, and saw. And with text three, we're able to see vampire graves, um, hypotenuse, 
uh, murder and dead. So we're able to see some really different texts here by just extracting the key words and getting a little bit of a sense about them. But we can do a lot more than that. We can pass extra keyword arguments here. So one of the things that's important when you're trying to extract key words is to understand bigrams and trigrams or sequence of words that might be something important when used in connection with one another. In this case, we can represent these as key phrase underscore ngram underscore range. And we can pass into this keyword argument two things. This is going to be essentially just a tuple that has two parts. One, the lower range of the ngram and the higher range of the ngram. So if we pass one comma two, it's going to look for anything where there are uh, there is just one word and two words. So anything from a single word to up to a phrase of two words. We could likewise pass in three and three and extract things like a little bit longer. So actually extracting um, not just key words, but key phrases at this point. This is the versatility of this library and why I like it a lot, especially for teaching purposes. We can also go ahead and remove stop words by passing in a keyword argument stop words. Now in the examples I've prepared for us, we're not gonna see any differences here with our stop words. Stop words are essentially words that are so ubiquitous in a text that they can sometimes cause your results to be a bit messy and a bit muddled. And sometimes in certain problems, it's important to remove them. And Keybert allows for you to do that by just passing this one keyword argument. Finally, we can also highlight our texts. So we're going to be able to extract the keywords and pass another keyword argument of highlight, which we're going to set that equal to true. And in doing so, we can go ahead and see that we're able to highlight all of the important words in our document. We can go through and easily just recreate all of this by passing in a new text here. Now, I use this in a lot of different uh, ways. I use it to try to, try to get a, a big picture sense of documents that I'm working with when I first approach a project. I also find it to be a really good way to teach how document embeddings work, how word embeddings work, and how we can really relate things to one another. I find it's, it's a really easy library to use and a really easy library to teach with. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much to all the Patreon supporters on this channel. I get do all of this for free, so if you do get a lot out of this channel, please do consider supporting it either via Patreon or via YouTube membership down below.